<laughs> Welcome back, folks, to World of Warships Legends. I'm Super Dave, and today's build and play is on the Vermont. Just got the brand new bureau done today, and we are going to take a look at whether whether or not you might like this Vermont. And I'll tell you what, I really like it so far. Let's get started with uh, the uh, commander build. I am using New Azure Lane, New Jersey. You could use whatever you use normally for American battleships. It'll work just fine. Uh, Sims is great. You have a lot of options there. Now, you could also take, if you don't have Sharn Orse, John Fisher works really well. Uh, Arthas, if you're going to use fighter planes, there's a lot of options there. I prefer, would prefer John Fisher, uh, especially at these higher tiers where these ships are pretty accurate, and this ship is much more accurate than I thought it was going to be. And a D Revel for reload. For our skills, we're taking flammable cannoneer, gyrating drill bits, firefighter, don't you love it? And we are using fight fire with fire. Let's go to the mods. The First upgrade, you definitely could, if you're a player that does divisions with carriers at all, the AA mod would probably be the one to go for. Uh, this thing would have really good AA if if that is uh, something that you like. If you're into AA builds, this is a very good option. Otherwise, the main turret traverse is what I went through. Um, and... Uh, for uh, the second mod slot, we're using steering gears because even with this, the rudder is 15 seconds. It's not good. Propulsion mod, you're not going to be up close really to be starting and stopping a whole lot. You're going to be playing this at range and uh, dodging a rogue, rogue uh, destroyer's torpedoes, in my opinion, is much more worth it. For the third mod, we are taking Concealment Mod 1, and for the fourth one, the American Artillery Plotting Mod 2. So, for your loadouts, you have three really good heals. Uh, outside of Ohio, these are the best heals in the game. Uh, or yeah, For American battleships, I should say. This is even better than the Alaska heal, which is... The was the second best heal, as you'll see in tomorrow's video, because that will be the Alaska guide. The uh, defensive AA, you have three of these, and that's what I'm talking about. If you stack that with that AA, uh, mod dissing would absolutely shred planes. It, it, I can already tell, even from the match you'll see today, it can take down planes pretty quickly. Uh, when it when one's you know dumb enough to get close to you uh for uh, the last slot spotter uh and for the specs at 102,000 hit points it has a ton of hit points and this thing is much more tankier than it gets credit for uh and i will show that here in a second uh your artillery uh you have uh, 12 18 inch guns 19 2 range Pretty slow reload at 34, but honestly, it needs it to balance it out because this thing can hit like a truck if if you get to, you know, really get on target with it. It really does, and you're going to see that in today's match. AA, and you can see here what I'm talking about. It's already solid, just default, so pretty good AA. It already shreds planes with that defensive uh, upgrade fire uh, consumable. Maneuverability, this thing might as well say negative 20 or negative 1,000. Shouldn't even be a positive number. This is one big downside of the ship, for me anyway, is the maneuverability. Uh, the turning circle is pretty good for legendary tier. That's not that bad. Uh, but because it's very uh, dreadnoughty in nature, uh, the, the maximum speed is awful. And I mean, this thing is pretty bad. This is, you might as well be in a wheelchair in this thing. Uh, the rudder is also not very good at all, 15 seconds. So even with us helping that rudder, it's not ideal. Concealment 13.8, it's a battleship. You're not going to sneak up on a dead moose in open water. Uh, for statistics, here we go. This is going to be pretty hilarious. So... Five games, 20% win rate. I have been super unfortunate, as you can tell by my stats on the right, by the teams I've had. It has nothing to do with the ship. 
I've been very unfortunate with teams, which is okay. I've had some decent luck too, so just not on this ship. So uh, one thing to note is them stats on the right-hand side. I'll even put up a little clip for you guys, but uh, my one win came in a battle where it was over in like seven minutes. Uh, I got to shoot at two destroyers, and I did 60,000 damage. Uh, so them stats on the right hand side would be much better. You take that game out. It just one of them games where the only one we won it was a slaughter fest. I barely even got shot at and barely got to shoot. So uh, I spawned in the middle and it took me a long time to get over to the flank and it was over. This is that one match. You can see we shoot Kaba at 13 kilometers and we land half of the shells here. So. Very accurate, but that uh, I think it's much more than it, what that 40% represents is we take on the two destroyers and basically the match was 100% over. With that being said, here's the armor. It doesn't look good at first glance. We'll talk about it here in a second. One thing before we start, though. You do not want to be up close and personal with this ship. This side plating here, you can see here on, uh, you know, the belt and uh, above the belt here is real flat and it's real tall. So if you compare it, we'll show you the height here in comparison. Ohio is about half of the height on that, you know, on your side plating. So you have to, and it, it, you have to be careful with this thing. Uh, if you go broadside, you can really pay the consequences of that. However, if you stay angled, this thing is very tanky, way more tanky than I thought. I heard some really bad things about this. Uh, but if you go ahead, you have a 32 millimeter bow, which is handy because only Yama and Musashi guns go through. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, you take off the torpedo protection. Yes, you have a nice little belt there, but it's super tiny. It is, I mean, don't count on that thing at all. <laughs> uh, you're probably not going to have too many people hit that thing. It has a pretty big superstructure like all American ships. Everything else out there, as you can see, we'll take it off. You can see the Citadel. And it's not as hard to hit as what it looks like. If this thing is broadside to you, you can absolutely smash a citadel on this. It's also not in very far, so uh, compared to a lot of ships, so you definitely can get punished, uh, especially by a Yami through the back or the front because it is a little bit on the stubbier side. As we go ahead and start this match and check who we're up against, I do want to say it is disclaimer time. This is a beginner's guide to help out people just learning this ship or uh, learning the game in general this is not for professional gamers that know everything there is to know about everything there is also multiple ways to build and play ships so opinions will vary i am just a above average player i don't claim to be the best player in the world i just am a pretty darn good player so i do make mistakes you're gonna see some in this match and also you didn't come to this video to see how to pronounce names, as I am very terrible at slaughtering other beautiful languages. It's almost an art form, so keep that in mind when you're watching this, guys. With that out of the way, we are on Tears of the Desert. We spawned right with two battleships. One's a Yama, and one's a Kerr first. Now, what I expected... And I would be careful here in the very beginning of turning broadside because this thing takes forever to get turned and moved, uh, one thing. But one thing I was expecting here is the GK to move forward, which he absolutely does, and the Yama to move back, and he absolutely does. So I'm thinking I'll go take the outside flank, and we're going to go ahead and shoot this Conqueror, and this Conqueror is not going to like me in this match. Uh, <laughs> We're going to take the first shot. It's going to be pretty respectable. Without a Citadel, as you can see, that's pretty solid accuracy. Not the world's best, but solid. We get 21,000. You're thinking, okay, that's pretty good, but Montana does that. And the next thing, I don't know if I've ever had happen in the Montana this crazy, but 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and keep pushing out. As you can see, the Montana's went backward. Uh, GK is kind of going towards the middle. We're kind of keeping an eye on everything. I wanted to shoot the Conqueror, but he kept going dark here. Um, but the Conqueror really is not going to like me here in a second with this next shot. Uh, considering uh, we don't get any Citadels on it either. I was actually thinking about half thinking about blind firing there, but you'd see every time I go to look at him, <laughs> the thing goes down. We're gonna go ahead and take a shot here, and this is gonna be a beautiful shot. Uh, just a blind, you know, just the auto aim shot was all it is. But at 17 kilometers, we're gonna hit 11 shells, and we're gonna do 35,000 damage without a citadel. That is pretty pretty darn good. And in two salvos without a citadel, the G, you know, Conquer is really trying to heal back health now. Uh, you know, that's pretty solid to take uh, about two thirds. I think is I think it has GK, uh, or I mean I think Conquer has normally seventy four thousand health on the on most builds, um, but he's going to heal some of that back. We're going to go ahead and shoot GK. Um, one thing this ship is pretty solid at, uh, it, it, you get it in a good position. Like any American Dreadnought, you can do a lot of damage. A lot of people are going to ask, or, you know, probably wondering, uh, you know, how good is this ship? It depends on the player and your play style. Uh, again, like the Montana. Uh, they're very different ships in some ways, but... Uh, if you, I feel like if you're gonna like the American Dreadnought, so Minnesota, Kansas, uh, you know, California, all you know, all the tier five ones, you're gonna like this ship. As you see, we're gonna take a shot at the breast here. No, obviously, don't get the world's best dispersion, but we do uh, get a good chunk off him. And we're being, okay, we're being careful here. I don't want to rush in. Uh, like I said, you can take. A lot of damage even angled if you're uh if you're pretty close in so we're gonna leave this at fight at distance for right now but you see we're hitting the world border so i'm gonna turn in i haven't had torps on me it we really haven't had too much of a problem so we're gonna go ahead hit the gk expecting him to slowly back up and we're gonna make our turn in uh as we get to the border here and start to push up as we start to feel like we're really winning this fight so you can see Right off the bat, 80,000 on the first, you know, uh, what, four minutes and probably three minutes of shooting. So you can do a lot of damage. That's only 30 <laughs> shells hit, too. So, uh, you know, it does have quite the damage output. I could see myself really having some good games in it. I don't know if I like this as much as Minnesota or Kansas. Them are probably my two favorite high-end ships along with Montana for uh, that but I think it's still going to be very good and fits my play style um, you can see we get four full pins there um, again we're going to move up now at this point it doesn't look like we're really doing that bad we're kind of even on ships uh, nothing's terrible obviously Yami has caught me that's how slow this thing is he backed up to the edge of, you know edge of the map and has caught me. <laughs> and uh, one thing in this match is me and Yami, this Yami here, are going to have a solid game. And I wish me and him had been on spawn different flanks because I feel like we could have been super effective uh, because two good players on one flank, and you're going to see, uh, you know, at the end of the battle stats here that me and him were most of our team's damage. We're pretty unfortunate with matchmaking. Uh, we didn't get a whole lot of help, and that's okay. It happens. We're not here to rip on anybody, but you can see it doesn't look that bad. It looks like they abandoned the uh, C flank over there, but it looks like we still have a good shot to actually do something. Now, the carrier has not even come remotely close to me. Obviously, that is kind of expected on an American battleship, uh, but at some point, you have to expect he's going to have to do something if we stay in this fight. But you can see it. we've been doing pretty good on keeping these shells off of us in angling. In fact, I think GK takes a shot at us here. Uh, and we get a good little chunk on him. And we're just going to, I think, yeah, look at that. Just tank all them rounds off of the GK. Uh, if you angle yourself in this ship, I've heard so much bad about this ship being squishy. 
it, in my opinion, it's like the Marlboro. The Marlboro is only squishy if you allow it to be squishy. The Marlboro is one of the you know, tougher ships if you um, you angle in it, you know, especially with the heels. And this thing has the heels too. You, you, of course, any f ship is not going to be tanky when you go flat broadside in it. They're just not going to happen. Some ships like Minnesota and Kansas, particularly Minnesota, you can get away with a lot for some reason in that. Um, uh, but this one, you're not going to get away. It's not as girthy as Kansas and, and definitely Minnesota or even California. Um, so it seems like a lot of times you're going to get away with more in them ships. This ship, you go broadside, you will get Citadel. I can assure you that. Take a shot at the Conqueror. And I get super unlucky there. Uh, and you can see I'm a little frustrated because I thought we could get rid of him. Because our, uh, it's starting to look like we're going to lose that the entire map now. <laughs> it's looking real bad. Um, I'm trying to... Uh, I wanted to get rid of these two guys quick to get in real fast. Um, but these guys, you know, Conqueror's got pretty good heals. So it's going to take a little bit to get rid of Conqueror. And a GK has a ton of health, so we pick. We got kind of went up against two of the tankier battleships in the game. Uh, to be honest, when I did take that shot at Conquer, I expected uh, Yami to finish off GK, so that's why I shot Conquer because I don't really care about kills. I felt like it was a more effective shot for me to take at the Conquer. He must have thought the same thing, <laughs> um, but. We are going to go ahead. We're trying to look at who we can affect over here, and there's nothing. The You know, the Destroyer's been out of a range the whole time. I've been looking at where that Shima was. He's been out of, you know, that Destroyer's been completely not anywhere we can shoot. Otherwise, I would 100% shoot it. Drake is behind the mountain, and there's not much we could have done to save our carrier there. It just wasn't. Now, um... The other thing I want to mention with this is you can see we really we won our side, but the rest of the team lost. I this ship the one downside with this is really uh, your ability to maneuver. Uh, like for example, I couldn't have counter rotated really and been effective with it with this ship, and that's one thing I like to do once you know I know like you can see right now. Uh, I know it's not good, <laughs> um, but me and these battleships need to split up here. Um, at the same time, it's still a fight, though, so I don't want to put myself out of the fight uh, when I have when you know we're gonna have some targets to shoot at. Hopefully, in a second, but we're gonna go ahead and start worrying about Shimakazi. Now, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for everybody about what I'm about to do, but. <laughs> I like taking out destroyers, and I'm pretty good at it. I don't think I'm the world's greatest players by any means. I'm pretty solid, but the one thing I'm pretty good at is taking out destroyers with battleships, particularly American Dreadnoughts. Uh, we talked about this in yesterday's video, but so for some reason, American Dreadnoughts and me get along super well, and this ship is no different in a lot of facets. Uh... Like I said, not necessarily Kansas or Minnesota to me, um, but I'm pretty good. So far, this thing's got a good track record. Me and this thing have a good track record of taking out destroyers. We know that Shimakazes, it's a Shimakaze. They're going to try to torp the crap out of us. I mean, it's, it's a Shimakaze. That's what they do. It's either, he's either going to do that or run to the back of the map. Um, but being that the match is close... Well, relatively close, the points are, but you can see we both were at four ships there for a second. We get defended on Ohio. I thought we were going to get the kill. We're really close to a, a few kills in this match that we just never got. So we're going to go ahead. We obviously know he's behind that mountain or really close to it. You can see I'm pointed right where I thought he was, and that turns out to where he is. Now, this next part is just me being dumb, thinking he might try to run away. Um... And I'm looking for where his shot is, and I blind fire there. And I know my shot was a little high, but I expecting without having the target acquisition on it there, I figured it was going to spread a little bit and I'd get a hit. It was not 
a good shot in my part. But what we're going to do now is we're going to, we know where he's at. So he's not, he's not fooling anybody. And he clearly wants to kill us. Otherwise, he wouldn't have uh, stayed there, smoked up, and tried to shoot at us. And we're not spotted now. That's the only reason he ain't shooting at us. So we're going to go ahead and get our turrets off. Because I'm assuming he's going to be on that same side. Um, and we're going to move our turrets. I'm expecting him to be over to the left. Uh, as you can see here, I'm spotted. I actually thought uh, for a second it might not have been him, but it definitely was, in fact, him. Um, we're going to go, oh, it wasn't. It was a drink. So that's, we're going to take our back turrets and shoot. I thought it was somebody else, not him spotting for us. So I just assumed he's still back here. And that is the case. He is back here, and he is on the left side. We are going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and shoot him. You just can't, you can't do that to an American battleship that has six guns on the front. You can't charge him like that. Um, he's much better off just to wait. Wait for me to make a, a dumb, aggressive play, which I can do, but I'm normally pretty good about that. Um, and uh, tort me. So, obviously, we're just going to let this fire burn. There's no reason um, not to. We have two good heals left. So, or we have another heal we'll probably be able to use. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and try to put ourselves in a position. Now, we've lost two other battleships, but I guess the match isn't over, but it's a long shot. I, With my speed, I knew I had to be the person to take on Shimakaze. That's one of the reasons for that play, if you were wondering, uh, because uh, the other guys needed to get to the other side of the map, which obviously the carrier is going to be way far on the other side pretty unfortunate on that regards and i think yami got hung up on trying to kill the drake um and obviously we can't do nothing about caps so this was a little tough but all in all i really do like this ship quite a bit i was wondering whether drake was going to go to the back or far away from me i didn't know if he's going to be behind this island or far away i assumed far away um, as we get a torpedo hit here. Now, it's so late in the match. I just let this go for unsinkable. And she's an unsinkable here. We're just going to let it go. There's nothing on this map that's going to kill me. The Drake didn't have much health. And uh, the aircraft carrier is going to get his plane shredded if he comes near me. I don't know if you guys saw when the he did try to come near me. It wasn't even near me, it was near one of the other battleships, and we took down three of his planes instantly. So, we're going to heal just to get the heal better, you know, have some help. But we're just going to let this thing drain out. And we did give Drake a witherer in the process of doing that. Um, but again, you can see, here he is. We're going to take a shot. We're going to spread out in case he accelerates or stops. We're going to cover both of them grounds here. Is... Um, you can see Yami or got gets him before we do, and he gets his high caliber. Obviously, I didn't get a high caliber because I didn't take 20% off of four ships. Otherwise, we definitely would have got our high caliber for sure. I think we only got I think we only got 20% on three ships and then a couple dings on everything else. Um, but as you can see, matches essentially over the carrier was across but all in all i did what i could with the mobility that i did have um <laughs> and not a terrible match kind of showcased the aa taking out destroyers uh went in the side everything you should do as you can see me and yami at the top um had bad luck with this so far with teammates but the ship itself is pretty solid guys i like it quite a bit Anyway, you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time, folks. Have a good one.